In Notion, you have databases where you can set and edit properties of a note from the table or page view. In Tana, you have super tags where you can set up the properties of a note by adding a single tag. Having these note properties can help organize your notes beyond folders and tags, giving you the creative freedom for your own structure. Thankfully, Obsidian can do the same using the Metadata Menu Community plugin. You can create custom schemas for certain tags, set up different kinds of properties like selects or dates, and easily edit note metadata anywhere like at links or tables with a UI. Without any further ado, I'll share you how you can start using it in your own vault. So if you don't know already, to create fields for our notes, we can use metadata. Usually people place this metadata at the top of their note by surrounding it in these minus signs. And then you can just put fields in here. Let's just say this was a note about a person and their age was 25. You can also do the same thing in line using two colons. So instead you can put age and then 25 which is what I'll be doing for the rest of the video. First, we can head to settings, community plugins, and then search up metadata menu, install, enable. The main feature we'll be using in this plugin will be the file class. A file class outlines the metadata fields of a note, and to apply the structure onto one, you can add a tag with the same name as the file class. So whenever, let's say, you have a tag for person, it will refer to the file class with the same name and create a structure for the metadata based on it. So to start setting up a file class, you can first create a folder to store them in. I'm just going to name it file class because I'm original like that. And then we can head to settings and then set the class file path to this folder. And then from there, you can go to more options, add a new file class, and then we can add one called person. Be sure to toggle this if you want to be able to just type in a tag with the same name as the file class name. And now if we head to the file class folder, we can see that there is one called person. So now to start adding new fields to this file class, we can right click and then add a new field. And then here we can type in the name. Let's just do address for this one. And then we can set it to accept any value. So we can just type in whatever. Let's just click check mark. And then it creates the field for us. There's also an option for multi-select. So if we head back and then add another field, let's just call it interests. We can accept multiple values from a list. And then from here, we can get the values defined in these settings, which is from this note. And we can start adding some like obsidian, anime, and coding. So I'll create this field as well. Then let's just create one more just to show the other things you can do. For this field, I'll just put friend to determine whether they are a friend or not. And I'll set it to accept true or false. There's a lot of customizability with these fields. And if you want, you can even manage one you already made. It's very convenient. It could be strings, selects, multi-selects, numbers, links, dates, or queries. For links though, you will have to supply your own data Vue.js query. And if you're not familiar with JavaScript or programming, then it might be a bit too complicated for your needs. So yeah, once you set up these fields, you can actually try it on a note. So now we can create a new note. I'm going to make a note for Barack Obama. If I remove all of this and then type in hashtag person, same title as the file class we just made, you can see this now pops up. So now we can click on it and we can set all these different fields. First, we have to add the fields. So we have to add the field at a section and we can just choose where to place it after. In this case, I'll put it after the tag. And then we can also choose the value of the field. If you want, you can also get rid of this real quick just type in the field name and then it'll auto suggest it as well i'll fill out the other ones as well so let's just say address earth and then friend false if you want to edit them you can always head over here so now let's create a new note to see people i'll open the other note if i create a link to barack obama 
you can see that there is now an option to edit its fields just from the link, which I think is super game changing. And then we can change his address. Turns out he actually moved to Mars. So if you also use data view, you can query for it. So we can do a table with the different fields like address, interests, and friend from all notes with person. And then we can exclude any files in file class folders and templates folders. Then we can exit here. And you can see that you can also edit it from the table because it this technically is a link. But there's also a way to edit it directly from here. But to do so, you need to use dataview.js. You will need to include this code snippet, which basically gives you a function f, which you can use to wrap around the field so you can edit them. And then from here, you can create a table. And for the fields, you will have the file name, the address, interests, and friend. And then you'll populate the table by getting the pages in your vault that have the person tag, and then you can filter it to remove any files where the path includes templates as well as file class. And then you can map the results of the filter to populate the data of the columns. So the first one will be just the link of the file Next one, we'll use the function wrapper, pass in data view, the page, and the field we are trying to look for. And we'll also do the same for friend. So now if we exit here, oh, you have to enable them, I guess. So we can head to data view, enable JavaScript queries. Oh, seems like I forgot to add a field, forgot to add address. There we go. Seems like you might have to change the color of the badge so you can see the text. But yeah, now you can directly edit things from the table. So I can add another one since it's a multi-select. I can add obsidian. I can remove obsidian. Maybe Barack Obama doesn't really like obsidian. And maybe I befriended him so I can check mark this. There's a lot more this plugin can do. Like with the lookup queries, um, I guess they're not here, but essentially, if we head back to the person note and then add a new field, lookup query. Basically with these, you can get the metadata of other notes and then calculate something with it. So in the developer's example video, he was able to take all of the ages from a person note and then get the average of them. So. So if you're keeping track of things like daily habits and you want to see the average, it could be really useful. You can also combine multiple file classes together. So you can have one class for person and then one class for maybe a coworker. So then you can maybe put in extra fields like their working hours or how much you tolerate them. So here's an example of my own vault. Over here, I changed this query to be a DataView.js query. So now I, if I want to maybe change the deadline because I ended up not reaching it, I can click and then open a date picker, choose a new date. And as for an example of a lookup query, I can click over here and I can choose any of my area notes. And of course, I can just head here and show you what that looks like. So yeah, very simple. If you're only just sorting out files based on their tag, but yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys will use it for. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyways, if you found the video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.